what's up guys welcome back to the channel today's video we are covering the data colors spider checker so basically i'm gonna come out to the camera basically it's another color corrector so you take a photo of all the colors you, you open it up and then afterwards we do the photo shoot and then in post production i will cover the whole editing process and this will pretty much just correct basic lighting hues blacks whites shadows and it's overall just going to calibrate and add like a new preset you can add to your photos. So it's just overall going to help with the lighting conditions as well. So right now we're just going to take the photos and then afterwards I'll head into the post-production process and showing how to use this and the preset that it comes with. So let's get into the photos. I'm also going to be, yeah, hold it on the like, different places, too. Sure. You got to add these on the IG, David? So within the spider checker packaging on the front side, I'm not going to flip it over, but it does give you an access code to download the software. And once you're done downloading that, go into Lightroom and then go over to photo, edit in, spider checker editing. Hold it, but I did a few close ups just to be sure. And that seems like that's going to be the best option. Okay. So now once you're in the software, you can kind of see all these little extra squares. So these are actually the colors of the spider checker. And you want to line all these up to what you see in the image and then from there you'll just continue on and save the calibration. So about there is pretty good. All these colors are covering the colors on the spider checker and you can hit save to Lightroom or whatever you're using. So that's what I'm going to hit there and then hit save calibration. And then you want to just name it something, so I'm just going to call it Spider Checker. So once you open up Lightroom, go under your user presets over here, and click on your Spider Checker calibration, or whatever you named it. So I just titled it Spider Checker just because it's simple for me to see. And from there, you just apply it. And what the main thing it does is just calibrates your photos. And this is also really important if you're doing any brand work or product work, just any, mainly anything for any clients because. If you, for example, are just editing on your own and you kind of throw whatever type of style you, it is that you like on there, then you're most likely not going to need this. But if you're doing stuff for brands, which I happen to be doing a few product shoots, it also helps because it's like if you are doing stuff for brands and you're shooting clothing, for example, you don't want the blues to be off. Basically, the point I'm trying to make is that like, if you are using this calibrator, so or spider checker, I should say, it's just going to overall help you with all the tones and the colors so then when you send over the photos to the brands and clients to use for their websites or social media, it's the correct colors and the correct tones of whatever product they're trying to sell. I think the spider checker is really important, especially if you're doing any types of brand work. And this is definitely something I'm going to be using at all of my future brand shoots and content as well. So you'll definitely be seeing me using this. And since it's a pretty small compact thing, I can easily just throw it in my camera bag and it's just going to sit there so whenever I do any brand work, I can just pull it out, take a few photos of it, and from there I'm honestly just good off of that. Now one thing to keep in mind is that they recommend taking multiple photos of this depending on if you're shooting at different locations in different lighting situations. For my shoot, me and David, we were in one spot and the shoot was about 20 to 30 minutes, if even that, it was a quick little shoot. The lighting conditions were all the same, so I only really needed to use one photo and one calibration as well. So just keep that in mind if you're doing different lighting situations. One thing that's really important about having a spider checker, especially if you're doing anything for brands, products, whatever it may be for clients, is that it keeps the editing very consistent across the board of the entire shoot. And if they have a specific style, like most brands will just want straight up just basic photos. They don't want anything like over saturated. They don't want like big presets on their photos, they just want simple little color corrections, maybe adjustments to the whites, the blacks, even the shadows. So with the spider checker, if you're going out on a shoot, 
take a quick photo of it and then do your shoot and then calibrate it, add it to the shoot. It saves you an entire few hours of it constantly editing, trying to add new presets and stuff. And overall, it's going to keep the same look that these brands are looking for. For the rest of the shoot, all I have to do is go over here and click on the spider checker and it automatically adjusts to what I was looking for for the shoot. you guys did enjoy this video and this spider checker does interest you at all there will be a link in the description for you to check it out and learn more about it and i hope this video was very informative to you deciding if you needed one or not if you're also if you're just interested as well in what this was but make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new and yeah have a good day